hashtag N811, hashtag Nate11. So, hashtag, anyways, I, I gotta point this out. I got a pretty cool scarf on. It's uh, Poland. It says Poland. It's pretty. It's pretty gnarly scarf. Plus, it matches the fit today. Hashtag N eight eleven or N eight one one is my hashtag behind my explanation and opinion of uh, of nine eleven. I was in f- I was in fourth grade. Uh, my teacher's name was I believe it was Mrs. Huff. I don't know if it was Miss Huff or Mrs. Huff. I think it was Mrs. Huff. And so I was in fourth grade, and I don't know. I think they might have even pulled. Uh, the sky looks so beautiful. They might have even pulled in a TV. Um. They might have even pulled in a TV and showed us what was going on when the attacks were happening and stuff like that. So, uh, so yeah. Um, whether or not we saw it is kind of traumatic. I don't know if they, if, if they did show it to us. Like, if they did pull in a TV and show us what was going on, probably shouldn't have been showing that to us at that young of age. I, I can't recall if they did or not. But I, I remember it. Uh, actually, one one or two of the terrorists went through my state to get into one of the planes. And, yeah, uh, so my overall opinion of it is like this. Uh, I don't know what the World Trade Centers were about, the way the World Trade Center buildings were about. I don't know what they were about, but I know that people are always expecting American citizens to work, work, work. And, uh, so, so yeah, let me see if I can zoom this. No, only frontward. Yeah, everyone's just always expecting people of this country to work, work, work. And I find it very unfortunate that we had people in those buildings speaking particularly to the World Trade Centers. Uh, yes, about them, anyways. Uh, we had people in there, and I guess it's like a... I'm assuming, from what I can understand, it's the World Trade Centers, Trade, Trade Center buildings, and it's all about uh, businesses and connecting them overseas from, you know, from here to overseas and whatever it is, um, job related stuff or whatnot, maybe, yeah, whatever it is, uh, so yeah, I, uh, I just find it absurd, I think it was th- about 3,000 people that died that day, and 3,000 turns into a war of like, through like 30,000, 300,000, 3 million, because it just never ends. America, whatever other country, Iraq, or whatever it is, whatever, you know, Af- Afghanistan, wherever it is, it's just a never ending war um, on terror, you know. So, anyways, um, I don't know. I don't think people, I think people should have, like, when I was a a kid in elementary school, I remember always hearing about, or not always, but I remember occasionally hearing about homeschooling, and I always thought, man, that would be so much better. Like, I don't want to have to get up in the cold weather, go to school on a bus, and da 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 and then deal with a teacher with, you know, 29 other students plus me or whatever it is, and the teacher might not be able to focus directly on me. A lot of the times they called me a behavioral issue. I mean, not a lot of the times, but few of the times like sixth grade I didn't get I didn't get to go on a field trip to go see the Boston Museum because of behavioral behavioral issues and who knows like some of the times I was probably the victim getting bullied but anyways 
and then the teachers, the way that they talk to me and the way that I reply, it's like, oh, he's being sassy with me. No, I'm not. I'm just being a person. But anyways, yeah. So, I feel like people should have been schooling from home a long time ago, and it should have been more common. Also, working from home. You know, mainly, I'm talking about working from home because of the 9-11 the situation. If people were all working from home, using telephones from home to do phone call work or something like that, whatever it is, and we had the internet out a little bit, we unrolled the internet back in like the 60s or something, so we had it mastered by at least the 80s, 90s, 2000s, like we had it mastered. So, and 9-11 was 2001, so we had the internet fairly mastered around that time or shortly after that time and whatever you know so we should have been working from home a lot more often so 3,000 could have been none or very little and um, yeah uh, of course you can't go back in time and just be like yeah we should have been working from home but it's just a fact I'm just stating a, an opinion which is factual um, so basically what I'm saying is there are leaders in this government or in this country that are essentially greedy or they have ties to businesses and there's a bunch of greed in between the ties and and then 3,000 people get victimized not only because of terrorists but also because of American greed. It's one thing to chase an American dream. It's another thing to build pyramids and get paid little for building the pyramids. And I'm not saying that's the case, but it almost seems like it. You know, why is minimum wage always so low? We can count to uh, Google. So the minimum wage shouldn't be no 750. Hell no. Excuse my French. Um, although I don't believe hell is a bad word. It's just a non-existent place that was fictionalized. But uh, back to 9-11. Yeah, that... Um, yeah, I just feel like people got greedy and we should have been working from home for the most part. Instead of having people go all the way to the building, go into the elevator, suit and tie, and da 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 da. Uh, the, they made a new World Trade Center building and there's a, there's a cool, like, I'm sure there's several different cool tour guide videos of the elevator and how it looks like inside the elevator of it it's so cool like there's like a timeline when you go up into the elevator and it shows you the growth of the world trade centers and all that and i think even the the remaking of the center like there's two buildings now it's one i believe um so yeah it's really it's really cool how they rebuilt it the way that they did the elevator looks so awesome it's like a TV screens all around, all four walls and it shows you a timeline of the growth. Hey, come here. Jack, come here. Jack. 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 So, okay, back to the video. I hope hopefully it doesn't So, yeah, I just, you know, Jack! So, anyways, yeah, that's uh, that's essentially it. Yeah, that's about it. Come on, bud. Back up here. Weird. So, yeah. Yeah, so 9-11 shouldn't have happened. It wouldn't have happened if people were working from home, essentially. Because, like, it wouldn't have been a targeted building, most likely, if, if they wouldn't have known that there were so many people in that building. And, of course, the Pentagon is a whole other story, too, but... And that's more of a military-related building, from what I can understand. And, yeah. So, it's basically my experience, not experience, but my knowledge, my understanding, my perspective, and I guess, I guess experience of what I witnessed. And now I kind of unraveled my adult opinion, like about a few years ago, and made it a hashtag called hashtag n811 and so yeah it's just from this day forward i think we should be pushing for homeschooling and homework and, and especially with the whole coronavirus i mean 
how many lessons do people have to learn? How many, how many people have to suffer? Like, you know, I'm not trying to be harsh, but at the end of the day, there's just people dying left and right at a young age, let alone because of, you know, things like 9-11 or coronavirus, you know, it's crazy, or the Boston Marathon bombing, like all that stuff. Like, like I see it as like 9-11 was, was uh, the first strike, like, like that's strike one. And the Boston Marathon bombing is strike two. Like, okay, so now we need to wake up. Like, stop doing such large events or something. Or, you know, like, um, like getting together with people is great, but, uh, I don't know, safety first or something, I guess. But, uh, I think I covered everything. Um, yeah, you know, I mean, just 3,000 deaths turns into a war of 3 million more deaths. And, like, it's just, it branches out to family members, you know. There's family members that suffer from this to this day where it's like they have to push somebody in a wheelchair or there's people who are, like, have, like, chemicals or toxic stuff in their lungs and it's just like they're still suffering, they can't breathe. The gov you know, Trump signed something to help the victims and the firefighters and all that and everybody who was involved police and everything uh, that were involved with 9-11 and um, like, like he signed something to compensate the victims and the family members of the victims and stuff but still to this day like there's warriors or soldiers American soldiers going and dying or getting severely injured uh, I don't know how to say it like I think mutilated uh, I don't, like they get their legs limbs dismantled whatever like they they lose limbs and then they have to sit there and have one to three one to about three other people help them with a wheelchair or help them with everyday activities and sitting up and getting up and it's just like that's uncalled for people don't need to keep suffering like that like people are dying like crazy or suffering like crazy because of wars that are nonsense based upon greed and land control for the most part like the terrorists want land control or whatever it is and we want land control as well but we also want to keep growing our financial system but if we can come to a google we could we could there's no stopping our financial system like we could literally pay people a hundred thousand an hour and then still calculate it correctly just as much as we would calculate 750 an hour and that ties in with my other hashtag, which is hashtag why not we can count to Google. And so I'll, I'll, that's going to be another video. But yeah, I just feel like we should have adapted to technology uh, to... Jack, out of that. Come on. Come on. We should have adapted to technology. Jack, let's go, buddy. Up here. Hey, up here. Up here. We should have adapted to technology a long time ago to improve society and to improve our everyday lives and in, in, in that regard where we if we think schooling is so necessary which for the most part it is we should be homeschooling people through video cameras or, or have the parents do it whatever it is and the parents could also work from home at, as well so the parents could be if they want to be teachers and also hey come here stop roaming off uh, the parents could be half teacher, half half home, you know, ha half teacher, and then you know, part time ha uh, teaching their children or ch child, and then the other half working from home. But really, at the end of the day, if everyone's working from home, there's going to be limited uh, options, and then eventually everyone's just going to become a creator, and then everyone's going to create their own stuff, and really, it's just going to like who's going to get paid for what. Essentially, money is, I don't see any value in it all that much. Like, I don't know, but, uh, um, yeah. Physical money should be of the past. We should have had it digitalized a long time ago as well. I mean, especially with the whole pandemic, that's, you know, uh, if there wasn't physical money, it probably wouldn't be spreading as much. If we only stuck to credit cards and debit cards then we wouldn't have to worry about a spread of a virus as much. So, yeah, 
Um, everything needs to be digitalized. We need to keep adapting to technology and digitalization, if that's a word. So yeah, turn things digital, man. Stop with the regular mail. Get rid of the USPS for the most part. And then email, keep email, electronic mail. Um, that's it, I guess. I feel like I covered most of it. I kind of branched out a little bit, but 9-11 shouldn't have happened. It wouldn't have happened if one, we weren't so greedy in some regards, and then two, if we were working and schooling from home, and three, the people, the terrorists who targeted those particular buildings knew that we were filling the building. Now, if we weren't filling the building, then we were following through with, uh, oh yeah, so, okay, so the key thing here is we invented the phone, the, the phone, so people were in that building using phones, or those buildings using phones, and also computers engaging with emails and phone calls I'm assuming right and so we can take those phones home and we can do the same exact thing in those that those two buildings that we do you know we could do the same thing in those two buildings at home we could do the same thing that we do in those two buildings at home and with a phone and a computer so technology is overpriced technology is controlled mostly by the government and they always get the little discounts and the they always have extra stuff at businesses and like all the extra little they get the they get the high-tech microwave and all that good stuff I'm sure some jobs even have washers and dryers like you know it's, it's nonsense uh, so yeah while people are going without businesses or businesses are never ending and and uh, they, let's say they get compute, let's say they get a hundred computers at a discounted rate, but a regular average citizen struggles to pay bills, let alone go and buy a piece of technology. So yeah, um, as a whole, at end of, like, we should yeah, we should all just have an equal chance at having technology at our home rather than rather than the way that it has been distributed it seems like it's more of like businesses have it easier than the average citizen for the most part or they have better technology generally jack this way so yeah that's that's it hashtag n811 it's my opinion it's my perspective uh we could have prevented it we could have done things differently, but furthermore, we could we could definitely change things, and make that, make it happen, get rid of all the nasty things like tobacco, alcohol, gambling, casinos, and eh, homeless shelters, pet shelters. Uh, turn maybe turn pet shelters into like hotels type of a deal, like open spaces with their own little AC and their own bed and all that cool stuff. Um, and. And just get rid of like drugs, you know, get rid of uh, uh, just bad stuff, you know, uh, explosives, guns type of deal, you know, I mean, I don't mind virtually shooting people like on a video game and stuff, but, and, and of course even exploding people too, but in a more fun virtual way, like on Grand Theft Auto 5 online, so yeah. Um, I've been a gamer since five years old, so I'm a little bit... I guess you could say desensitized or something like that, but yeah, video games are fun. It's virtual reality. It's a different way to approach life and uh, engage with your brain. And then creativity comes out of it. I'm a prime example of that. I think I feel like I'm pretty creative. I feel like my ideas are pretty, pretty impressive. I don't like to boast for myself or speak upon myself, but I, I impress myself. I'm not going to lie. There's nothing wrong with self-confidence. I don't think, or is that, or is that, or is that bad I don't yeah yeah so I'll just I don't want to go on further about some other stuff but yeah that's it that's that's my opinion of of that day yeah I, I yeah that's it
Thank you for tuning in to the visualization.